Hello everyone, I'm Caroline and welcome to my home here on the hillside in Wales. Today I thought I'd show you some of the things I've been buying in the thrift store or the charity shop, depending on where you live, what you call it. And I uh, apologies if I've got any paint on me. I've just this minute finished making my last project for my Friday video, all about some spring makes and I love them personally, so why not check that out on Friday when it comes out? I've got a few days editing ahead of me now. So let's have a look what I got. Now, I was in the one charity shop and they said all frames were 50p. I thought that is a really good deal. Now, some of the frames weren't very good. Or they weren't the sort of thing I would use, but I had three of these and I love the fact that these are matching. Oh, look, there's my mister on. So I've got three of those. If I show you on the back, they will go. At first, I thought they were Ikea, but this is a very popular design at the moment. So... I can do lots of things with those. I've already got lots of ideas what I'm going to do with these frames. So I think I'm going to do a whole video on ideas for using up your frames. So keep your eye out for that one. So that was £1.50. But that wasn't all. As you can see, I bought more. Let's try and get some order here. I got this one, which is just like a gilt looking one. It's modern. It's nothing special, but I'm sure I'll come up with a project for that. And this is another gilt one. I don't think they're the same size. Nope, they're not. They're a little bit, one's a little bit smaller than the other. I've got an idea of something I could do with that. Hmm. Not going to tell you just yet because I may change my mind. I got this really nice wooden frame and this wooden frame. Now, I thought they would make a perfect two tier tray. Now, I haven't done a video on two tier trays, so. I'm probably going to use these to make one because I just think they're so lovely. And I love the images in them too. The Pears soap advertisements. Nothing on the back of them. But those two, one pound. I'm pleased. Sorry for the clattering. Now look at this one. It's got an oil painting in it. It's an absolutely gorgeous frame. And if I turn it over, produced by Gemini Arts, Gosain and Swansea, which is in Wales. And it's got all this really nice... I'm not quite sure what you would call it, framing we'll use. And so it's got the stretches and everything. It's a lovely thing. And just on its own, I was wondering whether to use this as a painting. Now, I did notice some damage um, there. Somebody has poked something in it there, so that's a bit frustrating. But you can't always notice it. So I may just try touching up a little tiny bit of acrylic paint in there and see if I can get that so it's not so noticeable. But... I seriously am thinking of keeping it as it is and not doing anything because it's so lovely. I think that would look lovely next door to Betty, my dresser. 50p can't be bad. Let's have a look at the last few frames. I've got this one selected by Tesco. It's got this like Hessian effect to it, which I think is gorgeous. And it's never been used. It's got like this flocked back on it. And so I've got a few ideas for embellishing this. And I think I'll keep that as a frame, but with some embellishments. I've got another Piers soap. Is that smaller again? I don't think it is. I think it's supposed to be the... Yes, it's the same size as that. I think somebody got them as a sort of triptych, as they call it, where <laughs> they don't quite fit on my screen. But three in one. Make a lovely set. Again, I'm half tempted to keep them as they are. Hmm, I'll see. <laughs> see how it goes. I'm terrible for changing my mind anyway. We got this one, which uh, is from Next. It's a six by four frame, never used. And it's got this like honeycomb look to it. Now, I don't think for me that silver honeycomb look is doing it. So I'm possibly going to paint it up to look like honeycomb. Or I may just embellish it. I don't know. I mean, the possibilities are endless, so I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with that one. And finally, to open, lift back here. Oop, there it is. It opens like that. It's got a stand and it's another gilt frame. So that, nothing terribly special, but I reckon that by putting something interesting in that, it could become something quite special. It's got the mount inside as well, so I'll show you there. It's the edges of the mount. So at 50p each, then I don't think that was bad. Am I going to disappear a second while I put these on the floor by the side of me because 
they are such a big pile of picture frames. Right, let's have a look at some florals. My latest love is florals. I absolutely love them. They really lift any project. And I got these. And I got these. And I got these. Now, these were in the charity shop. If I turn this to the side, I've been looking for these everywhere. These lambs here, oh, they're so expensive. So I was thinking, mm, I don't want to buy any yet. I may find some, but they just weren't turning up in charity shops. And then this one turned up today for £1.50. Now, if you look inside, it's only one plant. Let's see if we can take it out. Oh, no, it's a bit stiff. I'll have to take it out later. But I can cut off so many little picks from this one. It's a bit dusty. It needs a good shake outdoors. But at £1.50, I'm really pleased with that. That's going to last me a good while and for a good many projects. I think these are asters, possibly. If anybody knows different, let me know. But I've got the combination of some foliage on here and what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blooms. So £1.50 again, they're originally from Ikea. Now, I wouldn't mind betting if these were from Ikea, they weren't originally £1.50. And any florals are so expensive nowadays. I'm happy with these. Three pots of deliciousness. So I'll move my pot of deliciousness there and show you my big purchase. It's not as big as Betty the dresser, but it's still quite substantial. Look at this. It's a wooden bowl. Now, if I measure it, I haven't measured it yet. It is about 14 inches across. It was two pounds. There's the back of it. So it looks pretty worn out and tired and unloved. Let's see if the sticker's going to come off. Oh yes, the sticker's coming off nicely. Very cracked in here, but I'm not bothered by that because I've got a fabulous idea for this. I really can't wait to get started on it. And I'm going to do one thing around Easter time, but then I've got another plan. I'm going to reuse it around Christmas time. And I won't give you any hints if you can guess what I'm going to make with this huge bowl. And I'd be surprised if you guess because it's a bit weird, <laughs> but I think it's going to look good when it's finished. So we pop that down there. And, ooh, I'm dropping things. Easter is coming, so I want to make some Easter things. And look at this. This was one pound. Look at that face. Look at that face. Isn't it gorgeous? Bit of fluffing him when he's been in a tub with millions of other teddy bears. So I want to make a wreath with a bunny on. And this seems like the perfect bunny for putting on an Easter wreath. So I may pop him in the washing machine. Um, sponge clean only. No, I won't. I'll just give him a sponge clean. And then he is going to be on part of my Easter decorations. And he's really excited. Look, can you tell he's excited? So... We'll put him over there so he can watch the proceedings. And next, I've got this. And this was 50p. It's a basket. Nice enough basket. And then on this side, you've got a heart cut in it. Now, I can't wait to use this. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun coming up with something to do with that. Mm, what am I going to do? At the moment, I'm thinking pedestal. Perhaps some sort of lantern on the top I'll just turn that into the handle of a lantern I'm not quite sure but it's going to be something I'm definitely going to extend the height on this when I do something with it so that oh there's a little I never noticed that there's a little triangular podium in the middle or whatever you would call it stand so that you can put I suppose a candle on and you could see the light of a candle so possibly that I think I'm going to make it floral what about floral and candle Oh, now we're getting excited. Florin, floral, candle, plinth. Oh, yes, that is going to be a lot of fun for 50p. And I've got a few new things. I want to move those out of the way so that I can get to these. Now, I love this. I've often seen these and I've never wanted to buy one because I don't like paying full price for anything. And I finally found one in the charity shop. It says Blooming Beautiful. And it cost me one pound now i could put some things into this i thought perhaps i could put a little diorama inside it or i could turn it into a gumball machine or i could take the lid off and 
put a floral display in it. Oh, I just, I'm really unsure what to do with that one because I can think of five things to do with that. <laughs> Unless I find five other things, then I'm going to have to pick the most exciting one. Oh, there's a label on the bottom. This was from Blooming Beautiful. That's all it says. Glass sweet jar on stand made in China. So I love that. And the fact it's got a pink lid, I do love pink on some of these kitchen items. So that for me was lovely and a pound. I could hardly believe it. I thought it would be at least two and probably more. Pop that there. It was a noisy guy. I got this. Now, I love the idea. I've seen a lot of wreaths just made on these rings of wire and then they put floral displays and things on, but they don't cover the complete thing and you can even cover it with lights. So that I thought was interesting with the price. Now, this was £1.50. Now, I don't like paying £1.50, but I decided that it was worth it because it's such a nice thing. Because, I said because a lot there, didn't I? I can put a light in there or possibly a string of fairy lights in there decorate the sides and I think that would be quite lovely and I think the addition of this on the bottom really gives it that lift so I'm going to enjoy that I may even hang it like that for you on the camera I like that more decisions more exciting fun coming my way and let's have a look what else we've got oh I've got these you can now see all my mess around the desk. These are mirrored plates. There's another one. So those I'm thinking possibly a two-tiered tray like that. Oh, there's my, let's see, there's my light there. Oh, and there, can you see my camera up there? And some flowers hanging over the hedge. No, it's not a hedge, is it? It's a fence. No, it's not a fence, it's a shelf. <laughs> Many of you know, since I've had my mini stalk, I keep getting the wrong words, but you know what I mean. So those I thought I could do as like a two-tier tray possibly, or they'd look lovely with a floral display with some candles on. So 50p, I thought they were really a good buy. Let's have a look what else I got. I've got two candlesticks. They've been used obviously with the green candle, but they were one pound for two. And they like a bamboo effect. And I love those. Now, I may paint them up to be a more of a brownie colour. I don't think I like them. I think fresh bamboo is green. I'm pretty sure I've seen it grow in green. But I like it when it's brown, when it's been dried. So I'll probably turn those into a brownish colour. I don't know if I'll keep them as candles. I could use them as dividers in two-tier trays. Or a big, huge three-tier tray. <laughs> that would be quite a size, wouldn't it? Or, what else could I do with these? Ooh, I can't think now. But I'm sure I'll come up with many more ideas and then I'll decide on the one I'm going to do. Don't forget, if you want to see what I do with these things, it would be great if you could subscribe and that way you'll get to see what wild and wacky ideas I come up with. <laughs> right, pop those there. And the next one's a big one. It's a big one. It's this, the bottom of our jardinier. Now, it's nothing terribly exciting. There's not flowers or patterns, and I don't think it's an antique. But I'm pretty sure it's not an antique. There's the top. But I'm not going to use it as a jardinier, even though you can see if I put a plant on it, they, they make a very nice plant stand. I want to turn it into something to put a plant on, but I want it to be more of a tall table. I've got a spider plant called Samantha. I know, don't ask. And so I'm going to put something on here. I'm going to decorate this in some way. And I'm going to have a really gorgeous plant stand so that Samantha can droop all her babies down the side, looking really glamorous. Whereas as it is, she's on the cupboard at the moment. And a lot of the baby spider plants on the one side are all just landing on the cupboard. So I thought this would show her off to her absolute best. Expensive for me this was, oh, it's upside down, sorry, three pounds. But I think that is going to make such a lovely table that that is going to be well worth every penny and it's going to look like I paid a lot more for it. Let's have a look how tall it is. Oh, my ruler. And it is about two, sort of there, I'm not very accurate measure. It's about 16 inches tall. So certainly not a little tiny one. 
So I definitely need to keep going off screen to put things down on the floor. Now this is rattling. But what's in it? Look at that. It was pound fifty, which is 50p more than I like to pay, but I think that is stunning. It's a milk glass chicken. You can keep your eggs in there. And I'll show you the face on there and the detail on the basket. Oops, something's reflecting green. It must be the plants on my TV screen. But that even got some basket on the bottom, some basket weave. So I just love that. And I think I'm not going to do anything with that. I think that is just going to go on my dresser because it's so beautiful. And so nice. They often come in like browns and things, but I haven't seen a little milk glass one like this. So when I saw it, I thought, oh, yes, definitely. That is so farmhouse style that that will suit perfectly to sit on a shelf on my dresser and everybody can admire her. There she is sitting on her eggs. You can see a few eggs sticking out there. She must have a lot. <laughs> oh, very prolific hen. I don't know how many chicks at a time a hen can hatch. Never thought about it. So we'll pop that there. And I can't find my other bag. Here it is. I'm getting in a jumble today. I've got so many things to show you. And I'm going to try to... Get this video done in about 20 minutes, so we haven't got long left. So I've got this duck. Now this was 50p. And I like the way they've done. If I show you how far do I need to turn. Can you see the beak is actually open? I think that's really cute. They just made a little bit of more effort. I think it's a vintage one. I would say, by the way, some of it's faded and some of it's not. This has been in a window. Can you see the sort of fading on the duck's beak? All the... Um, Varnish is coming off. So I love that. I'm not sure what on earth I'm going to do with it. What do you do with a duck like that? What would you do with a duck like that? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know. <laughs> Any suggestions? And you never know, I may actually take one of your suggestions and make it. As long as I've got the bits and pieces here and I can see with my imagine how, imagination how on earth to make it. But I'd be certainly up for giving it a go. And then I got this. Easter is coming and we've got another Easter bunny. Look at that. And this has got to be, I reckon, the same age as this. It was in the same shop. So I think probably some person put in their basket weave collection. And I've got this. It's got a little storage compartment there for an egg or a beautiful little flower display. Imagine that with some flowers in. I don't think I've got any to hand. I don't want to wander off too much. If we put some flowers in there, no, that doesn't show it very well, does it? You get the idea. If I pop some flowers in there, it will be absolutely stunning. I don't know whether I would run over it with a very, very dry brush with some cream to lighten it up a little bit or not. I like the look of the aged colour on the varnish on the basket weave. So I'll have to think about that one. I could just put some pink felt in their ears, give them some proper looking bunny ears and some whiskers. They haven't got any whiskers. Oh, poor thing. So isn't that lovely? And this, oh, I didn't tell you today. This, 25p. I mean, a vintage bunny that I can do so much with that I could just pop an Easter egg in the back and it's done. You can't go wrong. And I got this. Now, you may think, why is she showing me a men's shirt? Why would I bother to buy a man's shirt? Well, this cost me the grand sum of one pound. Because it was originally £3, then it was reduced to £2, I think. Or was it £5, then £3? And now it's down to £1. Nobody loves it. Nobody wants it. Its next place was going to the rags. Well, it's a shame to let that go to rag. Because look at all this gingham I've got for a pound. So I was looking for a black and white and a red and white and a lilac and white. And I ended up finding a blue and white. But still, I'm quite pleased with that. Because I think blue is a lovely fresh colour. What make is this? It's Springfield, unique and original, custom fit. And I've got free buttons. No, always can't beat the free buttons. And I don't think this one's got pockets because if it's got pockets, you can even cut the pocket off and use a pocket as a pocket in something like a journal. Or you can stick it onto some of your craft creations and pop some flowers in. But no pockets on this one. But it does have the advantage of long sleeves, which means you get extra fabric. Because, as you can imagine, if you had short sleeves, 
no extra fabric. So, what a lot of things I bought today. So, well, I didn't buy them today. I've been buying them over the last few times I've gone to thrift stores because I just buy, the, I don't just go crazy and buy lots and lots of things. They've really got to feel like I can do something with them. Other than this duck, but he tempted me. <laughs> Who wouldn't be tempted by that duck? Who looks a bit like a Viking ship? So thank you so much for joining me. It has been great having you along and showing you my finds from the thrift store. I would love it if you could give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. And I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone who's commented, given me a thumbs up, subscribed, who watches my videos. It means such a lot to me and I really am grateful to you. I would love to say a huge thank you to you. If you're not already subscribed, then why not subscribe? You can find out what I do with all these little treasures and see what I turn them into. I'll see you all next time. But until then, don't forget, have fun.